so I'm Nancy Stone um, and I am a hydrogeologist. I work um, for Wood Group in the UK um, in the field of water resources and environmental protection but I also have been supporting Just a Drop um, as a volunteer for about five years now um, in my technical role as a hydrogeologist. The kind of the, the big problem is that it's really clear in many countries that a key driver of gender bias and inequality is due to that disproportionate impact of the lack of safe water and sanitation and how that combines to affect women and girls much more than men and boys. So, um, so the work that Just a Drop are doing on the ground, we, we really see it makes a huge positive difference for the whole community, but, but particularly for women and girls because we do combat those issues from a number of different angles safe water close to homes um, so let's say within a kilometre maybe even closer um, so girls are more likely to be able to go to school uh, families are healthier um, and women have much more free time potentially allowing them to have other occupations um, so for example could allow for income generation but you know fundamentally unlock, lock, unlocking them from that cycle of drudgery um, secondly um, inclusiveness um, something that we think a lot about in our projects uh, we really encourage the voices of women to be heard, um, for example, in community meetings, we involve them in design, um, uh, potentially um, involve them in things like well selection in terms of the location. Um, we make sure that women make up the majority component of water user committees um, who are then responsible for managing the water supply in the long term. Uh, we also encourage women to take leadership roles within those committees. Um, and provide training in governance and bookkeeping and minute keeping. So thirdly, sanitation. Um, so on the sanitation front, um, by providing toilets that are closer to homes, we are really fighting against that indignity and insecurity that may otherwise be experienced by, sadly, by so many women and girls who might otherwise be vulnerable um, to attacks, walking to and using far away um, toilets or even open defecation sites. Um, so for example, the work that we're doing in Cambodia, we're working with families to um, provide household toilets. And that really helps to protect women and girls, both from physical attacks, but also um, from snakes, um, mosquitoes, and the indignity of finding somewhere to private um, to go often in the pouring rain. Um, fourthly, schools, we're constructing separate toilets for girls and boys and girls with washrooms, importantly, um, and also accessible toilets for those who have disabilities. So really being inclusive there. Uh, we set up wash clubs, so that's water and sanitation and hy hygiene um, for the kids. And in some cases, for example, in Uganda and Zambia, um, we're providing menstrual health and hygiene training. Um, and reusable sanitary pads. So all of that's combining to keep children, but also especially girls in school. Um, so finally, um, bringing clean water and toilets to health centres. Um, it's an absolute game changer for communities, but especially pregnant women and women with small children. Um, for example, in Uganda, uh, running water in health centres, um, we've seen a reduction in sepsis um, and also an improvement in maternal health. Um, can you imagine giving birth and there being no water to wash with, um, no washroom and dirty toilets? Um, it, it must be absolutely horrendous. Mm -hmm.